Hey guys, we're going to get started in just a moment. I thought it would be fun to do some Mad Libs together. So let's see how well you remember your parts of speech. I've made my own Mad Lib at wordblanks.com and I will be able to fill up our, fill up our own. <laughs> monkey, everybody always picks monkey for a word, don't they? So uh, let's do this. We'll see how our story comes together. So now here's the thing, whenever I do Mad Libs, um, when I do it with students or friends or adults, the more descriptive and specific your word, the better. Try to think of a word that nobody else would think of because that will make our story turn out better. So adjective already, you see clunky, that's a good one. Clunky it is. So next is a noun, which would be a singular noun. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have some choices here. So we have gorilla, we have penguin, apricot. <laughs> hey there. Um, how about apricot? I like the other ones too. So uh, a noun, tennis bracket. Great. Okay, so now I need a plural noun. I see seashell, so we could do seashells. All right, and an adjective, <laughs> Sir Francis Drake. Well, uh, groovy, ooh, I like that one. That is a, that's a groovy word. <laughs> uh, let's see, now a number. 345, all right. And we're back to a noun. Ooh, glittery, keep that in mind if we need another adjective. <laughs> Lips, that's a good one. Let's see what other ones we get. And, I'll choose one, goat, wheel, I think, the, I think the lips might have it, puppy, squash, all right, okay. puppy, that's, that sounds cute. Okay, so we're about halfway through, <laughs> and I need a plural noun, oh good ones, I see astronaut, lamp. <laughs> Pluto, a good theme for today. Um, we're going to need a name in a little bit, John, so re remind me about Pluto. So, a plural noun, <laughs> Paris, rutabagas, <laughs> lemurs, okay, oh, I like lemurs, there we go. Okay, now a noun, singular noun. I'm going to try to think of something nobody else would think of. That makes our Mad Libs turn out better. <laughs> Rutabagas come up again. I might have to choose that one. Ooh, a popsicle. I like that. Pop. Sickle. Now, some sort of event. An event, a holiday. Summerfest. Linda, that's a good one. A funeral. <laughs> A Boston Tea Party. All right, yes, Boston. <laughs> Boston Tea Party it is. And now I need a plural noun. I like birthdays, marathon. These are all good. <laughs> An ed camp, summertime. Inauguration. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're looking for, for a plural noun. Arrows, I like it. <laughs> Camp plug and play. Yeah, that's a good event. Logs. Logs, I might go with that one. Ooh, donuts. That's another plural noun that's great. Boxes. Flippers. <laughs> uh, so many choices. Pizzas. Yes. Plural noun. All right, I think I'll go with pizzas. All right, we're back to a singular noun. We could do just jelly bean. That could work. Candles, mm, possibly. Zebras. Let's do candles. All right, now if I need a first name. Kind of a, a funny first name would be great. <laughs> Candy. 
<laughs> I don't think you meant that as a name, John, but I think I think that would be a funny first name uh, to put for this. <laughs> All right, so that leaves us with uh, a couple of adjectives and a couple of numbers. Friends, let's go and see more of you good names. You guys are good at these. You guys are really good. <laughs> Towering, okay. Now we need an, uh, two numbers and an adjective. Right? I like fuzzy, paltry. <laughs> those, those are some great word choice. You're salty. Okay, so I see a number. I see 93. All right, let's go with salty. And 87. No, four, 463. No, one, I'm going to do 1001. Okay, so now we'll be able to play it. So this this will be neat. It'll um, work. The way it works is that I typed a story and then I went in and I clicked words to that will replace. And now it's going to put our chosen words into a story. Here it goes. And of course, our story is about Periscope. Okay, so let's see how this turns out. If you think something's funny, give it hearts. <laughs> so here's what you guys came up with. I don't know if I can do it so you can see it so well on the screen, but that's why I'll read it. <laughs> Wendy Wells in tech. <laughs> okay, that's funny. The, the one thing about word blanks is that there are a lot of ads that appear, so I'm going to try not to hover over it. Okay, so there's a clunky new free app called Periscope. Periscope works on phones, iPads, and Android devices. It's designed so that anybody can broadcast live to the apricot. If you follow someone on Periscope, then you can receive a tennis racket each time they go live. <laughs> While viewing a Periscope broadcast in the app, you can type in comments. You can also tap the screen and little seashells will float up the right side. Broadcasters like to ask for seashells. Seeing them float up on the screen makes them feel groovy. <laughs> Anyone can replay a broadcast for 345 hours after it was live. <laughs> no kidding, where is your tennis racket? After that, the recording is no longer available for viewing online. However, you can choose to save a broadcast to your puppy roll. <laughs> Unfortunately, that saved video does not have comments and lemurs. <laughs> you know, what you might see happening, or you, who knows what you might see happening live on Periscope. You might see someone broadcasting from their popsicle. You might see someone speaking at a Boston tea party. You might see a teacher showing his favorite pizzas. You might see a geek sharing her favorite candle tricks, <laughs> or her favorite candles trick. You might see some guy named Candy read Mad Libs. You just never know what you might see, but you're likely to see some towering camera work. For an app that se seems to be all the rage, you might be surprised at its rankings today. Right now, it's the 93rd top salty app in Apple's App Store, and it's number 1001 in the Google Play Store. <laughs> so, uh, a great job, everyone, for helping us put together this fun Mad Lib. Uh, it was... Uh, Pretty fun. Let's see, I got some. There we go. <laughs> Even Tony reading Marlins. That's right. <laughs> hey, Wendy, how are you doing? How, how's that conference going? So the, these uh, Mad Libs, like I said, I made at a website called wordblanks.com. And it's kind of full of ads, but uh, it, it's, it's pretty, pretty neat. Um, I like that uh, you could use this several different ways if you're a teacher in the classroom. I loved making um, Mad Libs. I just take a, uh, usually I do it as a preview, something we we're going to read in our science book later that day. I would uh, take that paragraph, paste it into a Mad Lib and replace, you know, certain words. And then it was a really fun for students to, you know, after lunch or in the morning, kind of have that, that funny paragraph. But then later on in the day, when we read the real paragraph, they really got into it. It's like, oh, remember what it said this morning? Oh, that's what it's really supposed to say. Uh, so, so that's pretty fun. You could take, you know, a news article 
from from that day and and uh, make that into your very own Mad Lib. It can also be a way for students to get to know each other. They they can write a paragraph about themselves and turn it into a a Mad Lib kind of story, and that would be fun to, to get to know each other that way. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely, Kim, steal it, steal steal it all you want. That's 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 what it's for. So, uh, Wendy's at uh, the. Uh, BLC conference in Boston, and I, I heard you practicing your Boston accent, and you have a very southern accent usually, so uh, uh, that was kind of fun to see that on, on Periscope, Wendy. Yep. <laughs> um, if you, for some reason, want to redo this Mad Lib, uh, at wordblanks.com, you can um, share whatever you create as a URL. So I've shortened it in case you're interested, so it's uh, tonyv.me slash blanks. And that will redirect you to the Mad Lib that we just filled in together. So if you really wanted to pick your own words, because some of you are really great at this, you could play this again and again and again. <laughs> and uh, that site was at wordblanks.com to make your own. And for the one I just read, tonyv.me slash blanks. So uh, thanks for joining me tonight. And as always, I will see you later.